might upload this. Wow, that's awkward. I am at Barnstormers with Sarah. which is a R12. Thank God they wrote it on the bike. I would not know otherwise. Sarah is riding an R1250. Yay! <laughs> she was gonna ride this one, but this is a customer's bike and therefore she's actually not allowed on it. But we tried. Oh, okay. So if you took it out and filled halfway through, you'd only get milk, I guess. Uh, that, is, that is delicious. Okay. I'll go, I'll tell you what, I'll go in front and if I look like I'm indicating to go the wrong way, you indicate behind me and I'll coffee. I'll try and turn around now, I'm scared of dropping it. Not that it would go very far. Haha, <laughs> the whole bike just wobbles. Oh, oh, she's done it properly. I should have thought about that. Go on, go on. All the way around, all the way around. Yes! Amazing. Let's go. Oh, for goodness sake, I don't know where my feet are supposed to go. But pegs are a little bit forwards. See what it does have. It has sharp brakes, noticeably sharp brakes. Oh, and it's got a quick shifter as well. Yay. We can be friends. Oh, and an auto blipper. I feel like this is just standard now. It's just normal. They're supposed to have this. Um, we're gonna go straight over here. Oh, she was indicating to go. Sarah's behind me basically indicating if I go the wrong way um, and I just ignored her. I feel like it was too early back then to go right. I want a little bit of a ride on to enjoy the bike and experience it. It has a very light and responsive throttle. There's a lot of energy in the low range, as you would call it, I think. Which is pleasant, but I guess it also keeps you on your toes when you're riding slowly. The potential is there for the bike to run away with you. Okay, so now we're gonna go right. I keep missing my foot pegs. I definitely can't get on with this. This isn't enough information for me. I'm so spoiled with what I have that now when I have anything less, it feels like it's not enough. I guess that's why they put this on here so you can just kind of see that if you had this bike and you were missing the information, you would just put your phone on that. I'm trying to get used to the weight of this. It's, it's unnerving. You've got that big low down engine that just wobbles around with you on it. It's like the engine itself is moving separately from the bike. And noticeably when you start it, the engine just kind of shuffles about underneath you. It's really, really strange. It's kind of adorable though. 
I think we've almost reached the A31, which is kind of a shame. Let's go this way. Let's see. Cows. Ah, oh, oh, that could have been a that could have been a good little photo up there. We rode past it anyway, though. It's a shame. Maybe there will be another one. I don't know if it's the the spread and the weight of the physical engine but it feels like it kind of pulls you around a corner it feels like it's encouraging you to be more wiggly and agile it's very easy to just sit and do this there's no resistance to the steering whatsoever i mean i can see a dampener down there so it's obviously doing something but for a big chunky bike it feels ridiculously flicky and playful almost which is surprising uh, I think we were just here let's go back that way we were just here but that works out because I did go the wrong way earlier so if we try and kind of figure out our way back the way we came we'll end up in the right place and that road was kind of pleasant, so it's a win-win. Visually, this is not my kind of bike. I feel like it makes me look 20 years older than I am. But that is just my taste or lack of, depending on which way you see it. I think if I was going to go for one of this style of bike, the slightly classic looking bikes from the BMW range, it would be the R90. Just because you can make them look a little bit edgier, I don't think this bike is in any way edgy looking. But it feels new. It feels like, I mean, I don't know because I've not looked into it. I just picked this out of a lineup, but it feels like it's got electronics going on in it. It feels like a new bike. It doesn't look like one. It looks timeless, but it feels like it's got everything looking after you. It's very, very smooth. The brakes are very sharp. The handling is weird it's weirdly pleasant it's like a strange oxymoron kind of bike now one thing i will say is it's doing absolutely nothing to provide comfort over these weird little bumps straight away i'm noticing that my wrists are kind of aching already i know where we are I came this way on Sparty. I have absolutely no idea how I got here the same way twice. What I do need to do is find somewhere cute to take some photographs as well, so I think I might pull over here. This is very pretty. Very, very quickly take some photos. I'm slowly learning all the roads. It is nice. Hey. There's loads of nice roads around here. I know. Roads, I came at the end of that one and I turned right and I went up that hill. Ah. But I have absolutely no recollection of where I ended up after that. <laughs> so I don't know where this goes, but my internal compass is telling me that it will go back to the A32. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, we will. The adventure continues. Oh, okay, I think 
I think we have reached the road back to Barnstall. Is this one short and sweet? I don't want to take the piss by being out too long. Just because it is one of their demo days and there's probably people that actually want to ride these bikes, you know, for genuine reasons. Me and Sarah, we just show up and they know that we're just mucking around. They know that we're not going to buy these. That's a good one. We can remember that. Good ride. So she's not looking. That was, yeah. That was, that was a nice, nice little diversion. This was, this was pleasant. This was surprising. I would choose to ride this again. I wonder how popular it's going to be just because obviously there is the R90 and there is the R18. So you've kind of got two extreme ends of the spectrum of this style of bike. And this one's sort of sat in the middle. So I would be curious to see how many people actually want one of these rather than one of the other two options. It's a perfectly pleasant bike for a Wednesday video. <gasps> oh my goodness, that was a Miata. Uh, I'm, I'm happy now. I was happy anyway, but now I'm really happy. I love those cars. Oh, so cute. You know, imagine one of those in pink. I would die. Someone's put a Harley Davidson in the way. For God's sake. Got to record an ending sorry can't even blame the gopro on that one that is entirely my bad so please enjoy these last few clips of me riding around living my best life let me know what you think of this bike do you like it do you hate it do you have any questions about it i hope you enjoyed this video and i will catch up with you guys again soon goodbye